Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is September 12th. Our scripture reading for today comes from Luke chapter 18, verse 11. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the entire night praying to God. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We praise you, Father, for our salvation bought and paid for through Christ Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. His death, burial, and resurrection has allowed us now the opportunity to be part of the family of God. And Father, we spend this time praying to you, not just to lift up our needs, but to praise you for the privilege of being in the body of Christ. Have your way with this broadcast, Father. May the Holy Spirit lead, guide, and direct as you see fit. May you receive all honor, glory, and praise for all that is done. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Now, we've been talking about our blood-bought right to pray and to expect results. We've been getting pretty in-depth about our prayer rights, and, and we are... We're nowhere even close to being finished. As a matter of fact, we're just really beginning to get into some of the good stuff. Amen. But turn to Romans 8, 26, and you read, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. Now, folks, our weapons are not carnal, but spiritual. Our weapons are the name of Jesus, the Word of God, and the power of the Holy Spirit. We have the right to use these weapons, and we have the right to expect results when we pray correctly and use the name of Jesus effectively. Well, Brother Bob, I just believe in bombarding the gates of hell till I see results. Okay, I understand that. I got a quick question for you. What scripture are you basing that on? I, I, I don't know. That, that's how my grandma taught me to pray. Well, brother, that's all the faith grandma had to walk in. But we should be walking in a lot more revelation than what she had. We should be walking in a lot more power than the old-time evangelists. We are living in the last of the last days. And our eyes are seeing things the prophets of old desire to see but couldn't. We are hearing things they desire to hear but couldn't. So don't base your faith on outdated ways of praying. And here's another fact for you to consider. According to the Bible, how big is heavenly Jerusalem? By some estimates, it's between 1,215 miles square and high. So that means you are out there at least 750 miles from the throne of God. But we're also told that we have access to come boldly into the throne room and approach the throne of God. So how silly do you think you seem in the eyes of God, the eyes of Jesus, and the eyes of all the angels? You're standing out at the gate with an open invitation to come into the throne room anytime you want to get anything you want. And you're standing out there yelling at the gate, and it's not even locked. You can come on in if you want to. All right? Roll the cares of this world over on the Lord. Don't hold on to them. Let him have them. And then enter into his, what? Rest. Amen. Hebrews 4, 11, 11 and 12 says, Rest in God and rely on his power instead of our weaknesses. Amen. Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. Uh, matter of fact, let's just stop right there and let's lift up the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for the privilege of being in the body of Christ. We thank you we have access to the throne room of God. We thank you that when we pray, we know you hear our prayers. And if we know you hear our prayers, according to 1 John 5, 14 and 15, we know we receive the petitions that we desire of thee. Praise you, Father, for making it so plain and so simple. Jesus accomplished it all for us. And we start to walk in that right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this. You made it so simple that anybody could understand. We pray that their 
spiritual eyes are open to how effective the death of Christ was. His sacrifice made all of this possible. To you, Jesus, we just give praise and honor and glory. And our Heavenly Father as well, in your name. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Shout amen somebody somewhere. Glory to God. Do me a favor, leave a comment rating down below. Share this episode out on social media and be sure to visit our website at podcastforchrist.com. Take a look around there, download those free resources. Amen. Till next time, it's Pastor Bob reminding you again. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 in the Living Bible says, always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk again tomorrow.